Hey, Harmony, are you there? i got something to say to you. I want you and I to get a divorce. Excuse me? Are you serious? That's crazy. You can't just drop something like this on me out of the blue. Well, my daughter Joy is finally going to be getting married, and so I think the timing is perfect for this. But wait, what do you mean by that? Why does Joy getting married mean we have to separate? Did I do something wrong? Are you upset with me? I don't get why you're acting like this. I don't have any problems with you at all, Harmony. In fact, I feel nothing but gratitude towards you. You took me in when I was a single father, looking for a new wife. Then you raised my daughter as if she was your own child too. And I have to say that I truly am grateful for all that you've done for us. But then why? Why do you want to divorce me if you don't have any problems with me? I thought that this would have brought us closer together. I thought with Joy getting married and leaving that we'd have more time to spend with each other. That's exactly why now is the perfect time to get out of this marriage. I can't stand the thought of having to spend more time alone with you. That's why I'm going to be leaving you and getting back together with the ex-wife instead. You can't be serious. You're going to leave me for your ex-wife. That's right, her and I actually started talking again recently. Apparently she heard that Joy was going to be getting married and she wanted to talk a bit with me. So then we start reminiscing and stuff and before we knew it we agreed to meet up in person. That was when she told me that she wanted to get back together. Did she really say that? I don't believe this. Well apparently she hasn't been able to stop thinking about me ever since we got divorced all those years ago. She said that when she saw me when we met up that it was like getting hit with a flood of emotions. When I saw her It also stirred things inside of me that I hadn't felt in a long, long time. It was then that I realised that I did, in fact, want to get back together with her. What are you talking about? You do remember that you've been married to me for over ten years, right? Are you telling me that that really doesn't mean anything to you? How can you just cast me aside to get back together with your ex? Because I realise that she's the person I want to grow old and die with harmony. Besides, I'm sick and tired of putting up with all your nagging and fussing. But I don't even do any of those things. Look, I've already explained to you just how thankful I am for all that you've done for me. Besides, my ex-wife wasn't suited to raise children at all. That's why she left me in the first place. She still wanted to enjoy her youth and not be tied down. I've been raising Joy as a single father ever since then. So I was never able to go out and party with my friends or co-workers. I was always having to worry about budgeting and cooking and it just never ended. And that's why I'm so grateful for you. You stepped in, you took so much of the work off my hands. I didn't take the work off of your hands, Tom. We just began to work together like a husband and wife should. I remember the first time that we met. You looked so haggard and thin. I just knew that I had to step in and do something for both you and Joy's sake. And now this is how you thank me for all the years of my life I've dedicated to you, too. Well, I'm sorry, Harmony. It's true that after marrying you, I had a lot more time and money on my hands, but it's also a fact that I just never felt any love between us. You can't be serious about that, right? Now look, I know that my ex was never suited to raise any children, but we still just have so much in common with each other, and she's the person I want to be with now. I mean, we both just love getting to go out and explore and shop together. But you're just so strict with money, and I feel like I'm hardly allowed to have any fun with you. You're always telling me that I can't just spend money on whatever I want, we have to prioritise the essentials, and I just feel like I can't do anything even in my own home. Are you kidding me with this right now? No, I mean, just the other day, I was telling you about how I wanted to get a new car. You said that I couldn't because there was nothing wrong with the car that I have now. Remember? When I suggest going on a family vacation together, you complain about how we don't have the money to spend on things like that. I mean, what's the point of even working for money if you're not going to be able to spend it? I'm tired of living with a rat like you. Do you really think that way about how we live? For whose sake is it that you think I've been trying to save money for, huh? The whole reason I'm always telling you to think about how we spend our money is because you don't know a thing about budgeting. I've had to hold back from buying so many things for myself because you don't know how to save. Now you try and turn around, bend them all on me. 
When we got married, you only had a few hundred dollars to your name. And yet you were still asking me if I thought you buying a new car was a good idea. And we take plenty of vacations together, but we can't do that year-round. That's why we take one family vacation a year together. But we can't do that every month like how you want to. Besides, we need to think about saving our money so that we can put it towards paying for Joy's college tuition. But if you keep spending at this rate, I don't see how we're even going to have enough for ourselves when we're older. Oh, please. We didn't need to save up any money for Joy's school. That's what student loans are for. I don't see why we'd have to pay for that just because we're her parents. How can you say something like that? It's precisely because we're her parents that we should be working hard to provide her with opportunities for her to grow. It's the job of parents to prepare for this kind of thing. Where do you get off talking as if you're Joy's real mother, huh? You two aren't even related by birth. I'm the only real parent between us. You really need to remember your place before you open your mouth to talk to me about my daughter. Excuse me? I know that you don't really mean that, Tom. You want to know what I realised when I met up with Linda after she reached out to me? I knew that she was the only woman in the world who understood me. And now that she's finally gotten all her partying out of her system, time to me to take her back so we can begin our lives anew. And I guess I'm just in the way of that then. And I guess we're going to pretend like I didn't spend 15 years of my life raising your daughter like my own child. I can't believe you're really just going to walk away from me as if I didn't save you and her from living in the streets. Not just me, you know. Even Joy is, well, overjoyed that her mother came back to be in her life. She's so happy that we're going to be getting married again. So you just have to let me go already. Okay, fine then. If that's really what you both want, then I know where I'm not wanted. Good. I'm glad you understand. And don't you ever come near my daughter ever again. Got it? And that includes her wedding. I don't need you there, causing any unnecessary drama for her. Harmony? Are you there? Do you have any idea what's going on? I heard from my dad that the two of you were getting a divorce. And dad said that he was going to be getting back with my biological mom. Oh, Joy. I'm so sorry that this is all happening so quickly. Your father barely even spoke to me about it before it was decided. But at least your parents are going to get married before you and your fiancé. Well, so I'm sure that it will be nice to see on the day of your wedding. What are you talking about? Nothing about any of this is good. I don't want Linda there at my wedding. I want you. Do you really think that I would want the person who had me and then ran out of my life there standing next to me on what's supposed to be the happiest day of my life? I'm really happy to know that you feel that way, Joy. But I just don't think that I'm going to be able to go. And I'm afraid that you and I may never be able to meet again. Your dad told me he never wanted me to go near you again. He said what?! What is the matter with him? Doesn't he realize that you were the woman who raised me as far back as I can remember? You're the only person I would ever feel comfortable calling my mom. I don't want Linda back. Or anywhere near me. Joy? I never knew you felt so strongly about me. I am sick of those two. I've always hated my dad. And I've always hated my mom. Especially Linda. She chose to run around and have fun and left my dad to be the one to take care of me with no help. And meanwhile, my dad was always complaining about how he didn't know how to raise a daughter. And so he was looking for someone to marry to help take me off his hands ever since I can remember. They're both terrible parents and I can't believe they're both mine! Joy, come now. You shouldn't talk like that about your parents. I mean, the whole reason your mom reached out to your dad in the first place was because you heard you were getting married. No, Harmony, you don't get to. She didn't reach out to my dad because she was happy to hear that I was getting married. I bet that she's just doing all of this because she thinks that she can get some money out of it. I think she probably knows that I'm engaged to marry the CFO of a very large company, and that's why she's trying to convince my dad to take her back. I really don't think that's what your mom is trying to do, Joy. Why is it so hard to believe that the woman who gave birth to you is excited to see you get married and take this step towards adulthood? I 
am telling you that it isn't that at all. My mom is only off for herself because that's the kind of person that she is. She even reached out to me and was talking about my fiance. She mentioned how rich he must be and then asked if I could start sending her money every month. Wait, what? Did she really come to you asking for that? She did. So I know for a fact that there's no way she's doing this all because she's happy for me. I don't care what my dad says. I want you to be there by me for my wedding. Oh, Joy. You really don't know how happy it makes me to hear you say all these sweet things about me. But I just really don't think that your dad or Linda would appreciate my being there. And I'm also sure that ulterior motives aside, they both do really want to be there to see you walk down the aisle. Hold on a second. I think that I've just come up with the perfect plan to fix all of this. What do you mean? What did you come up with, Joy? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. But you have to show up to the wedding, okay? Please. You're the only parent of mine that I even want there. Linda and Dad don't care about me. They just care about themselves. If you aren't going to be able to be there, then I don't even want a wedding. Well, this is just a beautiful wedding, don't you think? And watching my little girl get married to a stinking rich fiance just brings a tear to your eye. This is probably the nicest wedding that I've ever been to. Oh, really? Do you think this wedding is nice? Of course I do. This is probably how people in Hollywood do it when they get married. And to think that Joy's fiancé brought along his parents too. It really saved me a lot of explaining I'd have had to do with this divorce. Oh, trust me, the pleasure was all mine in doing so. Ah, oh, aren't you sweet? Well, Linda is sitting with me and she wants to say a thank you as well. It's all thanks to you that I'm back with my ex-wife and we're all one big happy family again. And look, Linda wanted me to tell you that she's grateful to you for raising her daughter up to be the kind of person who could score such a rich husband. Well, you can go ahead and tell her that that is not why I raised Joy in the way that I did. <laughs> wow, what's with the attitude, huh? I oh, know you're upset because she stole me back. Now you're left with nothing, but there's no need to be rude. Or are you just jealous because you know that you'll never go to a wedding this fancy in your entire life? <laughs> but I suppose I can't blame you. I mean, you spent 15 years raising my daughter. With that hard work and money and effort, you aren't even allowed to watch her get married now. But at least Joy's real mum is here to help her celebrate instead, eh? <laughs> oh, please, Tom, don't even pretend like you understand how I feel about any of this. Oh, I know that I'm right about what I'm saying when you respond to me like that. Oh, I know it'll make you feel better. Since I'm already here, I can send you a picture of Joy in her wedding dress. That'll be sure to cheer you up, right? And maybe you can stop being such a grouch about all this. I know with it, we're divorced, and I really don't have any reason to keep talking to you. But I feel like a picture's the least that I could do. Just too bad that that's the closest you're going to get to seeing Joy on a big day. I actually don't need to see a picture of her, thanks. I already have a great view of it from where I'm sitting right now. But anyways, I think the wedding is about to start, so maybe you should stop all your texting. Or better yet, why don't you just turn off your phone? Wait a second, what? What do you mean you have a great view of the wedding? How'd you know it was about to start? Did, did you break in here? No, I'm at a different wedding than you and Linda. I'm at the real wedding for Joy and her fiancé, so I didn't bother going to the other place like you two. The real wedding? And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? Well, I mean that I'm at Joy's wedding with her to watch over her and give her away. But you all are just going to be watching a live stream of the real wedding, which I'm at. Wait a second. A live stream of the wedding? What? What is going on here? I don't have a clue as to what you're talking about. The wedding is going to happen here and now where I am. I got the invitation from Joy, had the address for the venue, and that's where I'm at now. Well, yes. You got the invitation to go to the auxiliary venue where we were going to set up screens for the guests we couldn't fit in the real thing to watch. Honestly, you should be grateful that Joy's fiancé was so thoughtful and suggested doing this since there were going to be so many people. I don't understand. Anyways, I know that you as proud parents, you two are going to really enjoy watching this dream. I hope you enjoy the show, you two. And I hope you enjoy watching my walk Joy down the aisle. 
Hold on a second. Harmony. Were you telling the truth about two different wedding venues? This, this, this doesn't make any sense. You two aren't even related by blood. How come Linda and I just get to watch the wedding on a screen while you're there for the real thing? Oh, well, I guess you two just weren't important enough to the bride or groom to be invited to the real thing. But again, you should be grateful that at least you have the opportunity to watch via the live stream. I don't believe... How? How can this be happening? Well, it is happening, Dad. You kept putting Harmony down despite all she did for me. But neither you nor Linda were invited to the real wedding. And as of today, I never want to talk to either of you. Ever again. The only parent I have left in my life is Harmony. Do you understand? Excuse me, and just who are you to talk to your parents like this young lady? I think that I'm an adult who can make decisions for myself and determine who my own family is. And that's why neither of you are welcome here. I don't understand. Where is all this anger coming from? I mean, you do realise that Harmony isn't even your real mother, right? But Linda and I are your real parents. You can't treat us like this. How can you just try and cut us out of your life like this? It doesn't make any sense. The only person whose actions don't make sense around here is you. Harmony took us in and gave us all the support we needed 15 years ago, and you just leave her? You're terrible, Dad! You don't know what you're talking about at all. I know that Linda left you to raise me all on your own, but you only ever treated me like I was an iron ball tied to your ankle. To other people, you always put on the humble single father face and made everyone like you. But I know that you don't deserve an ounce of sympathy. You're such a little brat. Look, you have no idea what you're talking about. Are you really saying that I didn't put in just as much hard work as Harmony in taking care of her? I worked, I cooked, I cleaned, and it was all for you. I'm even getting back together with your mum for you. Oh, please, Dad, just stop it. You're not doing any of that for me, and you were overjoyed when you finally married Harmony because it meant having to worry less about taking care of me. I thought that things might finally change for me when you did get married. But all my life, I felt like you resented me for even opening my mouth. And you were always telling me to go to Harmony if I ever had any troubles because you told me you were too busy. You never wanted anything to do with me. Is that really how I acted towards you? Even so, I'm still your father, and you need to respect me. I don't care who you are. I'm an adult now, and you need to show me some respect too. But instead, you were always putting down Harmony and I for just existing. You don't get to call yourself my father if you were never even one to me in the first place. In fact, I never want to talk to you or Linda ever again. Oh, come on. You're not really serious about that, are you? Of course I am. And you can go ahead and tell Linda I said as much, too. Besides, she only ever came back to you because she thinks that she's going to be able to get some money out of this. Anyways, it's time for me to go out and get married. Enjoy the show, you two. Hey, Harmony. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming to my wedding today. Oh, sweetie. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for insisting that I be there. I know this was your big day, but it was one of the happiest of mine as well. I promise to never forget all that you've done for me. And I want you to know that even my husband's family understands that I only have one parent. And it's you. Well, I look forward to getting to know them all. After all, you're the only daughter I have as well. And please feel free to come over and visit whenever you'd like. Give me back my daughter, you evil witch. I thought I told you you'd never go near her again after you and I were divorced. You're taking things way too far now. You ruined my relationship with Joy. You've blown up my whole family and made me watch my only daughter get married via a stream. I'm sorry you're so upset over all of this, but you should know that this was all Joy's idea. She raised the idea of having a stream of the wedding to her fiancé and he arranged for it all to be done. I didn't even know what her plan was until I showed up on the day of. Mean that you had no idea any of this was going to happen at all? That's right. So don't come to me acting as if I've brainwashed Joy or something. She acted on her own and the decision to cut you out of her life was all hers. If you have a problem with any of that, I'm not the one you should be complaining to. 
I've tried reaching out to Joy, but she won't answer the phone when I call her. That little brat, who does she think she is ignoring a father like this? She's a terrible daughter. And it's all your fault. You did brainwash her against me because you're the biggest influence she's had in all her life. But we're not related by blood. And that's all that really matters to you, right? Well, maybe you finally understand how a real family doesn't have to be bonded by blood. Are you kidding me right now? It's just what you said, Tom. Anyways, I'm quite busy and don't have any more time to waste on this conversation. This isn't a game. You have to help me out here. This is all your fault and you need to make Joy take me back. At least tell me how I can get in contact with a new husband. Maybe he'll have the good sense to listen to what I'm trying to say. You want to talk to her new husband? Well, how was I supposed to know that my own daughter wanted to cut me off? Besides, I wanted to talk to him on the day of the wedding about getting a job with his family's company. And I wasn't even invited. You ruined my shot at a huge step up. A new job? What's wrong with your current job? Well, the thing is that I don't have a current job anymore. It wasn't like I wanted to just stop working, though. But I just figured since my daughter was going to be marrying into the family, that I might be able to land myself a good job with him. Did you really think that that was going to work? Why wouldn't it? Linda and I both really want to work there, and I think we should be able to. So we really need to reach out to Joy's new husband. If Joy isn't going to talk to us anymore, then we need to go through her husband instead. That is one of the stupidest things I've heard. I mean, did you really think that his family was going to serve two high-paying jobs to you both on a silver platter just because you're Joy's parents? But I already quit my job. Besides, they have to understand that as her parents, we deserve to get something for all our troubles. And that's why you think you deserve a job like that? Please, I've already quit. You have to help us. I was looking forward to getting to spend the rest of my days with Linda, working a cushy job, buying whatever I wanted. Well, I'm afraid that you two are just going to have to think of something else. I'm afraid that Joy has made up her mind about you two and told her in-laws not to treat either of you as family. So I think that even if you tried talking to her new husband, you still wouldn't get what you want. So you two are just going to have to learn how to make do with what you have. In the end, apparently Tom did find a way to talk with Joy's in-laws. But they told him that as far as they were concerned, Joy only had one parent, and it was me. Then they asked him to leave them and their son alone, since he had nothing to do with either of them and they shut the door in his face. Tom tried to reach out to me again after that, but I ignored him until I finally decided to block him on everything. Now with no job and no prospects, Tom was desperate to think of something. Linda, however, realized that this isn't the life she was hoping for and told Tom she wanted a divorce. Again. Tom did his best to keep Linda with him, but the fighting between only got worse and even the neighbors could hear them shouting at each other.